I came today to tell you about worship and praise and adoration. So if you are in a building with a bunch of other folks, you should be worshiping the Lord God Almighty in His house of prayer with prayer and supplication and worship, lifting up a standard. This is not just a flag that's pretty. This is a standard. And in the biblical days, they lifted up a standard so that you would know who they were and who they represented. Today, I'm representing. Are you representing? The Lord has called us to be separate and come out from among them. You can be separate and come out from among them and still worship in spirit and in truth wherever you're at, saints. It doesn't have to be about going to a building. It has to be about coming to the Lord, lifting up a standard, a banner to the Lord. This one is multifaceted gold. It shimmers. You have been refined in the fire and the gold should come forth and shimmer. Lift up your standard, saints. Lift up your banner unto the Lord. Saints, worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Whether you have a flag in your hand or you just sit there quietly, lifting your hands, praising His name, doing a spiritual dance unto the Lord, worship in the beauty of holiness. Saints, we're supposed to be worshiping the Lord by living our life daily as a representation of who He is and who we are in Him. So if I'm representing, then I want to be like that gold tried in the fire 24-7, Lord. I'm not running from the fire, saints. I'm running to the fire. And once you get in the fire, the fire will consume anything that's in you that is not of the Lord. You can be free to worship the Lord and not, it doesn't matter who's looking at you. It doesn't matter what they think of you because of what you know that the Lord God Almighty has done for you. You are so appreciative and, and you just want to honor him and you want to glorify him. And you say, Lord, purify me in the fire. I want to come out like the gold with no more dross on it, Father God. I want to be pure and holy and set apart unto you. Father God, I don't want it to be about numbers and about just uh, being there, Father God. But I want to come and I want to, wherever I fellowship, Father God, whether it's in a building or out in the opening or in a barn or at Walmart, Father God, wherever I'm at, at work, at school, Father God, I want to represent you. I want to be tried in the fire. So that my holy desire is one to inspire others to come up higher. Father God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, let it not be about politics. Let it not be about prestige and status quo. Lord, I want to worship you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And Father, if they say that we are no earthly good because we're so heavenly minded, Father, take me back to the scriptures and remind me, Father God, remind me that your word said that I have my mind stayed on thee, O oh Lord, and because my mind is stayed on thee, I live in perfect peace. The man or the woman whose mind is stayed on the Lord is always in perfect peace. Nothing can rattle our cages. We're going to get upset with you in the flesh, but we're not going to let the flesh overwhelm us, overcome us, overtake us, or have the last laugh. Because we're going to come back, we're going to come to the Lord, we're going to get in that fire, and we're going to say, Lord, if there's anything in me that's ugly, I don't want it here. Burn it off. Make it hurt, Father God, because if I've hurt you, Father God, I've hurt someone else, Father God, and I'm repenting in sackcloth and ashes, and Father God, the fire is supposed to hurt. It's supposed to burn off all of the bondages.
But saints, the gold can't shine forth until the dross has been removed. We got to do that through worship. We've got to do that through adoration and fasting and seeking the Lord. Not asking Him, I need you to heal me. I need you to, you know, to, to fix my financial situation because of all the bad decisions I've made. Father, I need you to save my kids. I need you to save this country. I need you to stop abortion. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. He said, stop. You are the answer to the problems in this world. Because the Lord says, I have given you hands, eyes, a mouth, ears to hear, feet to walk and to go places, and a voice to proclaim and reclaim what the enemy has stolen through your praise, through your worship. Lord, I adore you. Lord, I worship you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you face to face. Tell the Lord, I need you face to face, Father God. Lord, I, I need you. I need you. I don't need what you can constantly give me. Lord, I've just taken and taken and taken and taken. It's time for me to give. Saints, it's time for us to give. Give in order to live. Give in order to live. Give in order to live. When you take and take and take constantly, Lord, I need you. I need a blessing. I need this done and I need that one. Saints, do you realize the majority of us go before the Lord and all we do is ask, 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 ask? If you are the solution to the problem, then get up and do something about the problem in your life. It's called, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I adore you. Lord, forgive me. I've been selfish, Lord. I want you to bless me, Father. Bless me, Father. Bless me, mine and mine. He did bless you. He got you up today. He gave you your health. If you're still living, you got some help in you, okay? He didn't tell you to go out and do all of these manner of things and get in all this kind of trouble and put yourself in these situations and these positions. He didn't tell you to make them decisions. You left him out. You made your decision. You made your bed like Mama said. Now you got to lay in it. Well, guess what? At some point, when we get to the bottom, we get to rock bottom, the Holy Scriptures say, fall upon the rock. Fall upon the rock. Because I can guarantee you, you don't want the rock to fall upon you. Jesus is the rock. Saints, come out from among them. Be ye separate. Be separate unto the Lord. You're not a part of a party of believers that just go to church, the building, once or twice a week, get a little sermon, sing a few songs. You might even get some prayer. You might not. Most churches don't even do that anymore because they've forgotten who they are. They forgot that they're supposed to be a house of prayer and not a house of partying. Uh-huh. Even some of the conservative, a lot of the conservatives, it's like sing a song, pray a prayer, ask God for your needs to be met. He already said, I met your needs. He already said that, so we keep asking him to do the same thing over and over and over again. When you ask, you ask amiss because it's for own personal reasons. Saints, if you don't get anything today, get this. If you keep going to the building and that's the only time that you feel the presence of God is when you're in a building, then you're still a baby. 
okay? You're still a baby. It's time to grow up. You've been sitting on the pew for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 years, and you're still a baby, and that's the only place you can feel the presence of Yeshua Hamashiach, the Holy Spirit living in you, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. If the only time that you feel the presence of the Lord is when you go to a building and meet with other folk, you need to grow up. You need to get in the Word of God. You need to separate yourself. You need to turn your television off. I'm pointing at you. I got three fingers turning back at me. Uh-huh, and a thumb going up. Guess what? I turned my TV off. I cut off all of those communications. I stopped watching the news. I'm not telling you to do something I didn't already do. And if you will stop all of the distractions and get in the Word of God, the Holy Scriptures, you will have all the answers to all of your problems. Your mind will be transformed. You will worship in the spirit of holiness, in the beauty of holiness, in spirit and in truth, you will lift up a standard of excellence because you've been tried in the fire of affliction. And let me tell you what, saints, you will worship him, you will adore him, you will thank him, and you won't be afraid to raise your hands and say, Father God, I thank you for forgiving me. I thank you for separating me. I thank you for giving me the unction to separate myself. I thank you for giving me the ability to read your word through your Holy Spirit so that I can be transformed in the renewing of my mind by the washing of the water of the word of the Lord God Almighty who is Yahuwah. It's not about the building. It's not about the 501c3 corporation. It's not about you continuously giving your money to a place that continuously does not change the status quo by doing what they were called to do. I'm calling you out, church folk. I'm calling you out because it's time somebody said, hey, enough is enough. The church needs revival. Why? Simple enough. It's a corporation, it's a business run by businessmen, and it's not the business of the Lord, it's the business of men and denominations. And they've got all kinds of money, saints, yours namely, and they're not practicing what they're preaching. They'll get up on Sundays and on Wednesdays and whatever other days they have, yes, I'm calling the church out, the church, not the building, not the fake church, but the ecclesia, the called out ones. I'm calling out the called out ones. The ones that actually do have the mark of Yahuwah on them. Tau, the mark. X marks the spot. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to the fake Christians. I'm not talking to the fake believers. I'm not talking to the ones that continually lead without feeding. I'm not talking to the leaders that are not feeders. I'm talking to the ones that have the true Holy Spirit. I'm talking to the ones that know that I'm telling the truth. I'm talking to the ones that will get in the Word and they'll start fasting, they'll start praying, and they'll start having some power that God gave us from on high instead of walking around with our heads down in despair asking God to come and do something that He's told us to do. You don't have to like me. But if I ain't preaching the truth, show me where I'm not preaching the truth. Because I can guarantee you, according to this word, that nobody that calls the Lord, Lord, no one that calls him the Lord Jesus Christ of their life is going to continue to sin, is going to continue to fornicate, is going to continue to lie and steal and cheat and kill. They're not going to continue in a lifestyle of sin. And they're not going to continue to say, I'm a baby Christian after 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 years. They're not going to continue to look at themselves as a baby. Because guess what? If they do, they're fooling themselves. They're not fooling God, they're fooling themselves. They might be fooling the pastor, they might be fooling themselves and their family, but they're not, you know what, they're not fooling God. 
Saints, I'm praying for you that you will get up, you will wake up, and you will grow up. Get up, wake up, grow up. Come out from among them. There's no power in death. Death has no power over us. Saints, wake up, grow up. Lift up a standard. Lift up a standard.